Coach Roberts. Welcome to the Ohio Cast podcast. We're in double digits now. How are you doing today, man? Hey, I'm doing really good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm hanging in there. I just, uh, uh, we had a, uh, a dual meet earlier today, this morning, um, for Riverside Russell, uh, Chardon, the hometown of uh, Leroy Kemp and Mike Davies, uh, the Beavers took on the Chardon Hilltoppers and it came down to heavyweight. Uh, I'm going to tell you this right now. I hope you guys implement it next year at, uh, university in the Spokane Valley. Uh, it was, it was worth the price of admission, man. And uh, the Beavers, the, my, the school where I teach, Riverside Beavers uh, won. It was 33-34 going into heavyweight. We were down by one, and the Beavers got a pin at heavyweight with a freshman heavyweight. And uh, the, 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 the environment was second to none. And I heard you in the, guys. Uh, in the school day. It, it was in the school day. It was an assembly duel. Yeah. And uh, they beat us, like, in 2019, and then all the COVID stuff happened. They brought it back to Riverside. We rolled on them last year. We beat them pretty good. I got to call and stream those matches. I got to call the public address. Uh, Tim Armelli, legendary coach in Ohio, called the the public public address announcing uh, today. Did a great job. It was awesome. But um, you guys got a big thing coming up out there in Spokane Valley in Washington. What's going on with you guys tonight? Well, um, we've got the Battle of the Bones. Tonight is a uh, rivalry. So this is rivalry week in, you know, the high schools around the area. And some of them have different names and, and all that. So um, I don't know. I was, uh, I think about 20, 25, 20, maybe 25, 27 years ago is when they started it. And uh, I think they got a big uh, femur bone out of a, out of a Buffalo or a, or a, uh, some some big uh steer or something like that i think is and they and they decided that they would uh fight for it every year i think that's how i i wasn't around um and uh so that was that that was born and so yeah it's uh you know they got they got the with the schools they they have them rivalry meets with different schools and the the different um you know, the, the football games are called different things, you know, like the greasy pig, like stuff like that. <laughs> are you so, serious? Did you make that one up? No, it's called the greasy pig, I think. And, <laughs> you know, and the, and the soccer game, I think, is called the muddy cleat. And, um, and so it's actually brilliant. It's a battle of the bone tonight for uh, wrestling. So it's yeah. the last uh, meet, you know, of the year before you get going to postseason and stuff like that. So it's the, at the end. That's cool. I like that. Who's it with? With Central Valley High School, University of Central Valley High School. So there's give me all the valleys that are in the Spokane Valley. Give me all the schools. Well, in the valley, there's uh, East Valley, West Valley, Central Valley, and then there's University. Where and you then, went? Uh, you were you and your brothers were all state champs for University, and then Drew was a state placer at University. Your son Drew, right? Uh, correct. Okay, and then your daughter's a state place. She's a state champ for university, right? Uh, yeah, w- uh, women's yeah state champion last year. Okay. So hey, your daughter's had some huge wins though. Libby Libby Roberts, talk about Libby Roberts. She is going to be in the the duel tonight, and I'm hearing really good things about her. But she had a huge win because you'll periodically text me and share videos with me, and you and I to communicate weekly, daily. I would rather say. But um, what's going on with Libby Roberts, and and how is it going? And Ohio this year created an OHSAA version girls. There's a girls championships. Did Washington do the same thing? Oh yeah, years ago. Yeah. Okay. Years ago, I don't know how. Um, you know, it's probably when I was, you know, when I was coaching in the college ranks. It's probably been at least 15 years. Washington was kind of at the forefront. Uh, one of the first states, if not the i'm you know i'm not sure uh up first first three or four i would definitely say and um so yeah they have uh their own postseason you know but but during the year uh they have a lot of girls tournaments anymore um but she does a lot of wrestling on on the boys team um and in dual meets and you know she's the varsity uh 106 pounder and and wrestles in a lot of the um 
a lot of the boys tournaments here on the east side of the state. Um, and, I don't, and there's, I, I, there's not okay. a lot of girls tournaments over here yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know if I saw it in a tweet or if there was something in a newspaper article that maybe you sent me or I just saw on, because we're social media friends. I'm social media friends with your wife. She knocked off the number one kid, number one boy at 106 pounds in Washington. Is that true? Uh, yes. Last Thursday in a big meet, uh, big, another big, big dual meet, uh, you know, pretty good teams. Um, and she wrestled the number one uh, boy in 3A, which is uh, uh, second biggest schools out here. There's 4A and then there's 3A. Um, and so that was uh, last Thursday. And she came from behind and is uh, a pretty good kid, you know, but uh, she was able to put it into overtime and then uh, uh, get the takedown in overtime. I hear there's a lot of interesting things. Um, you you and I were talking um, earlier and sounds like there's some interesting stuff happening out there and the duel, you know, you're in a tight duel meet, right? And you said that you saw an unprecedented thing that you've never seen before. What was the unprecedented thing that you saw that you've never seen before um, in high school, college, international, or any level of wrestling? What was it that you were talking about? Well, earlier? I mean, there was about, there was about six or seven of them in that meet. Unprecedented like, um, things? Absolutely. That I've never seen in 40 years. Um, so the, the, the first thing was, uh, well, I've never seen a referee had to go on injured reserve during the meet. Wait, what happened? About halfway through, what? the guy got hurt and, and, they, and they had to, they had to change refs. And I was thinking about. He blow I've his never, knee out or something? I think his hamstring or something. Pull the hammy? Yeah, pull the hammy. Yeah. I, and I never, I never seen it. I've seen, I watched a lot of baseball. I've is seen the, is the guy, guy okay? Hold on, hold on. Is the guy okay? I don't want to make light of the guy's situation. Is the guy actually okay? Do you know or not? I don't know. I mean, I you know, he was there. He, he you know, he wasn't, he was there the rest the, of the, the night. The guy didn't get ambulanced off or anything. No, no, I don't no, want to, no, I don't want to no. talk about a guy. No. Pulling a hand no. in and it leads to a greater thing. The guy's going to be okay. Most likely. Yeah. No, I think he's going to be okay. okay. Yeah. So, okay. No, so you he, got, uh, you get, you got, you get, you get this. Hey. Uh, yeah. No, it was weird. Right. Because right. Didn't even right. Know. You know, there was a lot of excitement. It was crazy. The, who, it who, was, were, uh, who was university wrestling? They were wrestling Mount Spokane High School. Okay. He's got a real good team, you know, real good team. So big duel, um, dark, you know, a lot of excitement. Did they have the mat lamp? That. Did they have the mat lamp? The mat lamp. I love it. They had it today. It was amazing. The mat lamp. And so then the guy, you know, he, like I, know what, know what, I don't even know if anybody saw, but all of a sudden there's like a delay. There's a delay in the meeting. It's like, ah, oh, what's going on? What's, what's, you know, it's a couple minutes. Like, uh, you know, and you got some momentum, you're, you, you know, you, you got some momentum going and you want to get the next, the next match going. Yeah. And it's of like, course, I understand hey, what, where you're what's, from. What, what's going on. And then, and then, and then it's a different referee. Wait. And it was like, so I don't know where there's a, just a new referee and you're like, well, what's going on? Did, uh, pull the rabbit out of a hat, huh? Well, I mean, he was the assistant before that. Got so, it. Yeah, so they, did yeah. they so bring that, a new assisting in then? Yeah, they got this guy out of the stands. I I think that um, had been no way. The, ju the junior varsity. What are the chances, right? Well, I mean, so I've seen baseball. You know, I've seen yeah. a guy take one off the face mask. Uh, you know, a ninety-eight mile an hour. Or, you know, hit, guy hitting one hundred one on the radar and yeah, you know, foul tip and boom. Oh yeah, he's he's out. You know. Yeah, but, I got you. Uh, for a high school match, a wrestling match, I don't think I've ever seen it. College, I I don't think I've ever seen it. Wow. So that was one thing. Then, uh, then I saw a pin overturned. A pin. A pin. Pins are definitive, by the way. That's the only thing, like that the review, like even in college, let's just say. I understand it's high school; it doesn't have review. But that's the only thing that cannot be overturned. Um, that's I thought too. I I'd heard that. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a. You've been on book. the block. Let's be honest. Yeah, but I've never read the rule book from front to back like those guys probably have. That's so true. They, That's true. Uh, uh, yeah. So sometimes coaches think they know the rules more than refs, and, the, and we usually don't. 
Yes. Um, to, but, to a you know, referee's uh, to their credit, normally they, yeah, they no, understand more, yeah. far more than the layman or even most coaches, right? Yeah, ab- absolutely. And I've had refs. You know, you, you got pretty good relationships with most of them, and even in college. And I'll go over there, and I've said before, and they'll like say, actually, actually, KR, the rule is like, oh, hey, okay, man, thanks for thanks for teaching. I didn't know. Yeah, but, we like uh, education. I've never seen a pin reversed. Um, what what was except- it? What was the scenario? Well, um, so he called the fall guys get up, they center up, they go to the middle, they, you know, they're, they're getting ready. And then the opposing coach, uh, he's over there at the table. And again, it's, it's loud in the gym. You, you know, you don't know what's going on. And then all of a sudden he comes back to the middle and go to, re, uh, to, to, to restart him and gives the point, uh, uh, the guy, a point, the, uh, the guy that had been pinned, he gets him a point and he said he was uh it was a choke he was he, he had an illegal choke i guess is what the 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 end the ended ended up being it was called an illegal choke on a cradle most refs are just like well i didn't see it i called the fall sorry i missed it like i said i hadn't seen it before gotcha. um, and and but he but he said hey he told me you know he told me so i'm just uh you know i he and, the, and then i think he asked the I, I think he asked the new guy that had brought in. Um, oh, the assistant. Out of the stand. Got it. Huh? The new guy out of the stands. Yeah, yeah. And so anyway, so it was called a pin, and it was, uh, you know, two point near fall, and 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 then a one point illegal hold for the other guy. So um, all was right with the world. He ended up he ended up pinning him about 30, 40 seconds later. So got it. Got it. so that guy. Now hold on. That guy was awarded a point for an illegal hole, the choke, cutting off the carotid, whatever it was. And uh, that guy could have taken the dive. Absolutely, he could have. and got By six, rule. Six, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. 12-point swing, you guys lose the duel. Yeah, 12-point swing. I mean, so, you know, he wrestled. He wrestled, and, you know, I don't to know. To that guy's credit. Right. Hey, to that guy's credit, came back, wrestled. I like that. Um, but the unprecedented uh, uh, retroactively taking the pen away, not a huge fan of that so much. But, hey, I'm not wearing the zebra stripes those guys are, assisting coming out of the yep. stands. I, Better yep. men I than I am. Hey, credit to those guys. I don't want to. I don't want to either. Wanna, I don't want to put the stripes I don't want to yep. either. Speaking of which, big matches. You're you're taking a big trip coming up this weekend. Where are you headed? Well, uh, tomorrow I am going to uh, flying out to Pennsylvania for the uh, Iowa Penn State duel. Okay, so you got a son that wrestles for Minnesota. Have you made any Minnesota matches this year? Uh, yes, I um, I did. Um, I can't remember right now which one it was. They were in an it open was- and a duel, right? You've been to two, right? Yeah, I went to a duel and uh, in the fall uh, okay. before before uh, before Christmas. I and can't then remember how, who it was. How right did now. how did Drew did Drew Russell in that duel? Drew Roberts, your son? He did no, he did not. He did not. It was Blocka Blockus is the guy that's at his weight, right? Correct. Blockus is the starter. Drew is the backup right now. Blockus just got. He got beat at the in the last second by a guy from Nebraska. I just saw, right? Uh, I think that was l- like last last week. Last week he, but he he got taken down or reversed in the last second. I want to say last like fifteen seconds. I want to say. Yeah, I think he got reversed. Um, uh, I forgot to set the recorder that night. Yeah, I saw it. It was uh, and it was like so, one of those. It was one of the top ten matches or top eight. I matches. got uh, I got Big Ten TV. I usually remember to uh. You record record everything yeah. when I'm when I'm at a, like a high school meet or a kids tournament, um, so I could go back and watch them. But I didn't get I didn't get that one. So, your son Drew, I saw he just won an open. What open did he win? Uh it was in uh, Southern Minnesota, I think. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. All my batteries running low. I'll, oh no! I'll plug it in. You got to yeah, plug, plug it in. in here. Plug it in. But as we're talking and you're looking for. A plug here, walking around the house, Coach Roberts. What takes you to Pennsylvania? You know, I know we talk about Minnesota. We'll come back to Drew. But what's taking you to Pennsylvania? Why are you going to Pennsylvania to watch wrestling? And who's wrestling this weekend? Well, um, 
so I'm I'm actually going. Uh, I'm 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 going to go out and take in the duel, and then go to uh, Resolite, the the uh, the factory. Go okay. to uh, and see the warehouse and stuff, and that's um, you know where I've uh, been as as a rep for uh, oh probably five years now. So you've so, been with Resolite, the the they're the iconic mat. They're the oldest mat company in America. Uh, Resolite's out of Reading, Re- Reading, Pennsylvania. Did I get that right? Uh, it's actually in Northumberland, Pennsylvania. Okay, I got that Which wrong. I think is uh you know this all this will be cool for me it's uh but it's i think it's pretty close to i think bloom i think okay. bloomsburg yeah yeah it's right, right next to bloomsburg that's right by bloom i think bucknell's pretty close and then state college is ultimately where you're going to watch wrestling you're going to the biggest college do meet of the year iowa versus penn state um you and i had a conversation I'm, I'm gonna, and i'm gonna try to go to bucknell um uh, friday morning i'm gonna try to go to bucknell and meet up with uh Coach Lavalley over there. He's a friend of mine. Oh, that's right. He was uh, at Minnesota for a minute, wasn't he? And and I don't know if we're. I'm, I don't know if we're gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna be able. But that's what I'm gonna try to do. And go see their facility. And you know, like, so um, that's in Lewisburg. Lewisburg, PA. Yep. And then and then you know we of course State College I think is maybe thirty minutes or something away yeah, from. They're Bloom. not. They're I, not far. They're not far. Ah. Yeah. I tell you what, it's wrestling country, man. I mean, you got Lock Haven <laughs> not too far down the road. You got Bloom. You got State College. Um, I mean, geez, um, what a what a wrestling fan! Street. Millersville, like- Kutztown, East Stroudsburg, <laughs> Lehigh. All of those are within a two hour strike of where you're at. I want to say. Well, you know, I mean, it's like you t- you know you talk to people out Clarion, here, you know, like, Clarion, yeah. Lock Haven. They're all right, like within two hours either east or west of there. So it's. What a setup for you, man. That's you're gonna be in like wrestling, like uh it's wrestling country. There's no question about it, it's wrestling country. Uh listen, you and I were debating earlier though. The Spencer Lee RBY match, it's why we're not gonna see it. Um yeah. yeah. I gave you my synopsis, but it's just not gonna happen. If it does, we win, it's great. But you actually recruited our Roman Bravo Young, correct? Yeah. That that's right. What was it like when you recruited like a, a kid like Roman Bravo Young, who's a great kid, and he doesn't come from he comes from Tucson, right? Tucson, yes. And, and it felt like whenever you talked about it, it was very much like Roman Bra- RBY. It's it takes a village type thing is the vibe I got. W- would you agree with that or not? Yeah, I mean, from talking just a little bit with him and you know Coach Leon um, at the time and stuff, you know. Sound like there were some pretty incredible people um, that were involved in, you know, in, in, in that Sunnyside program and the community. But I think I went down and saw him when he was uh, like a junior and uh, I went to a practice and I knew he was incredible, <laughs> which unfortunately too many people uh, found out. Um, yeah, yeah it, was just, like, it, it didn't, shh, hey, it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. Everybody found yeah, out, right? Like, this guy's really good, man. Yeah, <laughs> like so good, man. So good. I t- Listen, here's what I'll say about him if we're comparing him and Lee. Lee was already what Lee was as a freshman. Even as a true freshman, Spencer Lee was a polished, National title contender right out of the gate from high school to college. You and I know that. RBY took eighth as a freshman in Pittsburgh. He took eighth. Yeah. He took eighth. So look at was the that, meteoric... uh, 19? Was that was 19, that 19 in Pittsburgh when you you okay. and uh who was it stayed with me? You and Huff. Huffman, right? Uh, Coach Huffman we yeah. came out for that. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. But his meteoric rise. And what his upside has been has been very different than Spencer's because Spencer's look at Spencer's wanted an incredible bonus rate, pins, packs, what he does. But Spencer along the way has gotten really banged up, right? With the knees. Yeah. And, 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 you know, essentially I feel this is me, not you. I almost feel like there was a trade off for Spencer and the Iowa Hawkeyes winning the 2021 NCAA title as a team. It's almost like Spencer didn't get his Olympic year because of that, tore both of his ACLs. And I don't think they draw it up like that. They don't draw it up like that. You know that. It's just tough. But 
Spencer sustained a lot of damage and a lot of wear and tear. Right? Is that an yeah. accurate statement? Oh, I mean, I think so. I mean, even if, uh, you know, even if half the, you know, half the story, I mean, you just hear what the guys went through and, you know, multiple ACLs and stuff like that. And I mean, he's, he's incredible. He's as good a, I mean, he's as good a guy as I've seen in a long time, if, <laughs> if ever. Uh, and he's, yeah, he, but you're right. He was very, very polished and very ready right, right from the get go. Yeah, I mean Ro- Roman Bravo Young wasn't that. Roman no, Bravo but he was Young incredible, was but he, he incredible probably athlete. wasn't as he probably wasn't as refined and you no, know, just no, like no. um probably not. You know, he's probably grown a lot. Um probably particularly on the mat. Yeah. I think. Um, oh yeah, I saw him on the ride out last week. He rode out uh Jack Medley. Uh, no, it was Ragason. Ragason. He yeah, rode well, Ragason think, out. Uh, you know, he had you know, he had some he had some closer matches um, earlier in his career and he'd win and he'd win, but it seems like his bonus rate has went up this year. So, you know, and sometimes that's a guy, a thing, a maturity thing, you know, people grow and then they, you know, they, they continue to evolve and, and believe and, and like really start, you know, um, getting a lot of confidence and open it up, you know, putting their foot on the accelerator or really trying to, you know, like, like score. And he's had a lot of people around him that do that, but, um, you know, so when you learn from people like that and you see guys go out there before that, like whether it's, uh, Nick Lee or Rutherford, or, you know, you see guys like bonus point machines. Um, I feel like he's done that more this year, probably than I remember him at least in the past. You and I want to see that matchup. Everybody in the country wants to see that matchup. That matchup won't happen because Roman Bravo young is bigger. He's bigger than than Spencer Lee, in my opinion, weighs more. He wrestles a higher weight class. There's evidence, right? And he's athletic. And I think the way he moves, he can catch Spencer in a position and, and, and hurt him, not tweak his knee, like hurt him. And then we don't see a potential fourth NCAA title out of Spencer Lee. That's why I don't think it happens. And you got to have that guy ready for, you know, Paris coming up. I think, you know, he's got to, he's got to make a run at Thomas Gilman, right? So I don't think I think for that foresight alone, in the next eighteen months, you don't put Spencer Lee on the mat. That's just my opinion. Yeah, um, I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll let the fans be the fan. Find out on uh, Friday night. What's your prediction? I know you're heading there. You're going to be that the Bryce Jordan Center. What's your prediction for that meet? Yeah, give me give me your prediction. Oh, I think Spencer would definitely wrestle uh, 25. Yeah. And what's your prediction on the team score? Oh, boy. Um, you know, I haven't thought about it yet. Uh... Hawk, Hawkeye, hold on. Hawkeyes or Nittany Lions? <laughs> well, um, I don't know which one of them wants to buy a wrestling mat. Uh, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to go with the Nittany Lions. Because I would say it's going to be um, like maybe 21-17 or something like that. I want that. I want that. I want it to come down to what happened with the Wisconsin-Iowa duel. I'd love to see that. I just don't know if we're going to. And if someone's going to put the gap in between them and, and pull away, it'll be Penn State. I don't think Iowa beats Penn State going away. That's just my opinion. But I'm going to go with – I'll go with the Nittany Lions. I'll go with them like 21-15, something like that. I want. I want to see something like that. But it could, could it? it I could think it'll not- be a really good meet. I, I really do. I mean, you know, I mean, people know who the probably the probably who the favored guys are. But yeah. you know, I mean, it's like, hey, forty nine to me could be a toss up match. Um, heavyweight, heavyweight could be a toss up match. I think they've went back and forth. I mean, ninety seven. If they've got Warner back, Warner's an NCAA finalist. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, Mirren and Van Ness. I don't think that's a just a, a, a rollover given match. I don't think 57's a, you know, given match. And, uh, you know, especially, I don't know if, has anybody heard if Haynes is going to be in for sure yet or not? I, I don't know, but I think that they have to commit at that point when they pull that is committing him to wrestle this year, which I would do. I think that guy's ready. I mean, all their guys are ready, man. They just do such a great job and how they develop guys. And it's just, Iowa does a great job too. 
I mean, but I mean, it's hard for me to bet against Penn State. It's just super hard for me to do that unless there's some jockey in or they don't wrestle Haynes and they steal a match here or there. It's very hard to bet, bet against Penn State. And then Jacob Warner's been hurt, so there's that. I mean, yeah. it was just a Who lot. Who was the last team that beat him in a duel, do you know? Uh, Arizona State. Oh, yeah. Team out west. Team The last team to win, and the only team ever to win west of the Rocky Mountains. Forks up. Their backpacks right there, if you're wondering. That's them. Lee Pritz sent me that. So, um, hey, how do I get a mat from you if I want a mat? Let's talk Resolite. It's about your whole trip going there. You're going to go to the Resolite headquarters. You're going to be right in a uh, wrestling country. How do I get a wrestling mat from Kevin Roberts through Resolite? Well, um, so we have territories and stuff like that, areas. But, you know, if you um, – I, I can always forward you on to the guy if, um, if you know, th they're not in my area. But, uh, yeah, Roberts Wrestling at Outlook.com uh, is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and yeah, just get a, Roberts wrestling at outlook.com or, you know, on Instagram at Roberts wrestling. And that's where I do my, uh, you know, uh, mats and some other stuff. Um, but mats most, mostly, but, uh, you know, some other, uh, products and, you know, of course the summer camps are a big part of what I do. Yeah. Defense soap, baby, you know. You always got to defend what you've built. Um, that's a good plug there, Zip. Defense, yeah. Hey, look, I always got their back. Guy takes care of me. You always got to defend what you built, defend what you built, defend soap. I know that you are selling the product at the camp. People can get the product. If uh, they need that, they can go through K-Rob. Now, let's talk summer camps, okay? We know that we can get mats through you. You built a – you helped uh, customize a beautiful wrestling room down the road for me about a mile and a half. My boy's youth wrestling coach, Jeff Farney, that you designed that and you were the person that he went through to get his mats. And that wrestling room, when you come back, I think we're going to do some technique. Jeff we're, will be we're your gonna partner. Go, we're going to head over there. We're going to head over there. Dude, it's it's under, it's a two minute drive from my house. Beautiful home that Jeff built out in Auburn Township down the road from me off of Stafford Road. But that was you. And, we're, you know, that's how I think that when we see people, when they see Jeff Farney's mat room, you did every product in it that's on the walls and the floor. Yeah. It's incredible. Well, it, I mean, it turned out really nice from, yes. from the pictures. I haven't been in it yet, but next yes. time I come to Ohio, maybe, uh, well, if you 23s is out there, uh, this year, yeah. Uh, it, is it out in, uh, it's in Akron or no, it's Akron in, again. It's inspire inspire. In, in, in Inspire Eva. Institute, yep. Yeah, you so stayed then, with me last year, go, didn't you? You stayed with me, that's didn't you? We can go see, uh, th that's where we can go to see Varney uh, yes. when I come out there in the spring. Okay, so let's talk dungeon. Let's talk Let's talk uh, wrestling camps, K-Rob. Let's talk North Idaho. Let's talk Washington, Montana, West Coast. Uh, Man on Fire, Kevin Roberts. You do a great job with camps. Your facility has grown, right? Your facility has grown. Tell me about the facility. Tell me about availability of camps. And tell me what you guys are trying to do this summer in our final minutes here. Yep, yep. So I just put um, the first batch of camps up for registration. Um, shoot, at the beginning of the week, I think. Where's uh, that at? Where can people maybe, go? Maybe on Sunday, maybe something like that. So, where, where is yeah, that we're doing at? a lot of things. Where can they go um, see where your camps are at? robertswrestling.com robertswrestling.com okay yep so we got you know the team camp again of course we have the hey um so we're doing some different we got um i think five or six camps for this summer and you know they're uh, most of them except for the team camp are on the property there uh just north of spokane and uh they can commute or they can stay as resident campers most of them are three day camps, um, you know, usually. And of course, last summer, you know, we had some kids that came to four camps or they were here for, you know, two weeks or something. And, but um, yeah, we run them mostly starting in the later part of June and into July. And uh, yeah, they stay up there on the property. 
Uh, we have the, you know, wrestling room and facilities up there. Actually, um, as soon as all the snow, snow melts can get up there again and start working on the property as far as the, um, the other building, which will be to where we house and um, got kind of a lounge area, kitchen, eating area and stuff like that. That's, uh, that's about midway mid project right now. So last time I was there, the second building you're talking about was just a, it was a, a roof over top of gravel with some side studs. It had no siding. Yeah, you had, it had, yeah, you had your, your beams and stuff. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, that's been completed um, on the outside. There's still some interior stuff that we're working at, but that's all been uh, closed up and you know, the, the floor put in, uh, some of the interior walls put in, still got some plumbing to do. And, but, uh, yeah, I hope it's going to be up and running by, you know, definitely by June. I love it. I can't wait so, to get back out there for the new, it'd be the exciting, new building, you know, out right? in the woods. Um, yeah. 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 Out in the woods, you know, not too far from town, but people can fly into Spokane and come to camp. Um, we're having, a uh women's camp this year when is uh, that do you know when that is that is oh shoot you're gonna kill me here uh that's the later part of june uh, well end of june end of june yeah it's a couple couple weeks before fargo i think two okay. three weeks before fargo because most of them will then go to um you know they got like their respective training camps their state state functions so it'll be before that um and then, you know, we have, um, of course, like neutral scoring camp was a big one last year, you know, that was sold out. Um, so those are all getting posted like this week. Okay. Um, and the team camp, you said the only one that's not on the property in uh, uh, Eastern Washington, where is the team camp? We do that one in Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. So I'm right. It we is do, North Idaho. It is. It yep, is. We Eastern do that one Washington. in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Just, uh, yeah, 20 minutes from, um, you know, from Spokane here. Um, oh, so we got a big gym there, a um, lot of mats. And, you know, bring in really good people. Last year, Coach Steiner was out here. You know, of course, you know, he's a friend of mine. He was out here, and he's good. Every time I'm around him, I learn something new, even though I, you know, spent a lot of time with him. There's always been uh, – he's great. So – I don't know. I haven't staffed that one yet. I haven't got anybody officially on the docket, but yeah, we bring in good people, you know, and I think 240 or 50 kids um, last year at that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I've got a new dog. What do you think sets your camps apart from other camps? I know that it's like a super unique location, right? It's out, it's in these massive pine trees. There's a really cool lake across the road. It's a really neat area where you're at. You got to go up a big mountain pass to get to it. That's a big mountain pass for me. So just relax on that. But you got to truck up this big mountain into the town. And then you go right out of the town, a little town with a, it's got a gas station and a, a, a grocery store. But what sets your camps apart from other camps in the United States of America, Kevin? Man, that's a really good question. I'm not at a loss for words many times. Um, well, I know you usually come. I love it. So that, you know, not everybody has Zeb there and, you know, has uh, the access to, you know, learn all sorts of info all day. Um, you know, be told stuff whether they want to hear it or not. <laughs> that you're going to tell them, you know, 15 things they've never heard before. Uh. Uh, and, and, I, and I, you know, I love it. But, uh, yeah, no, I just think, you know, I mean, I don't know if it sets us apart from everyone. I bet, you know, we got a staff that I think usually works pretty darn hard um, and for kids and is, you know, legitimately like wants to see growth and improvement there. And, you know, I mean, well, you've been around me enough. You know, there's a little there's a, bit, a little bit of chicanery and dinking around, uh, too. We like to keep it fun. But I love it, you know wrestle hard at the same time the handstand um, tilt the one time was my favorite that handstand you, that's on my i got that i'm gonna post that you saw that technique man i love you, it you saw that technique um you know we like we have to i, I like to have fun 
So sometimes that comes with a little bit of dinking around and, I like you that. know, and the one liners that the, that the older guys in camp usually get, but the kids sometimes <laughs> don't, you know, a couple terrible uh, dad jokes in there. Yeah. You know, I mean, I just like to have fun and dink around and, you know, entertain a little bit. So we jack around a little bit, but they also work hard. And, you know, I don't think that wrestling has to be something where it's, you know, always like, Oh yeah, we just bust our tail, you know, but there's no laughing and joking yeah. around here. Hey, it's a loose atmosphere, you know, when it's time to crank it up, we certainly do, but you know, you kids too, man. And yeah. those things don't have to be mutually exclusive. Yeah. So there is definitely some, uh, dink around time you know Some fun you got to make it fun coach we're at the end of our time hey thank you man for i appreciate you enjoy penn state